you guys. So, today we are looking at this. Yes, finally. Oh, finally, he's turned up. It's it's been it's been a long time getting from there to here. Um I think I ordered him in maybe January, February time. I think it was not January. Um and yeah, I've had a thousand and one other figures from AliExpress since then. But finally, we have the Spider-Man still suit. Um, KO, bootleg, knockoff, clone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call them bootlegs because this is what they are. Spider-Man still suit, SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Tishimuji Nation action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. Hmm. Obviously, all the other bits that say SH Figure Arts are missing. There is the front of the box with the very nice artwork on it. There is the side of the box with... Yep. There's the back stealth suit. And all the legalese that I cannot read out to you. Winning lottery numbers, etc, etc. And nothing on that side. Spider-Man stealth suit on the top and winning lottery number down there in the bottom. Obviously this does not have any um, SH figure arts or anything like that written on it, but it is a KO bootleg knockoff of one of theirs. <clears throat> I cannot remember, is it Night Monkey or something like that, that that they call him when he's in his stealth suit? This says stealth suit. I tried looking online and all it says is stealth suit, so I know in the film they call him like Night Monkey or something like that, but I haven't... I have to be honest, I haven't actually bought the film yet. It came out just as we went into the first lockdown and I've never really got around to getting it. So yes. Anyway, uh, you want to see what he looks like inside here. So, as you can see, he was posted out to me with the box folded flat, which is strange because it was exactly the same size when it got here. <laughs> right, flip that open and slide him out the side. There we go. Nothing else on the inside there. So we shall pop that down there. Right. We get a set of instructions here. Da -da. There we go. Yeah. In the back, nothing on the other side, but yeah. It's kind of weird, like same on the other side. Choose and attach. Do not misplace. They put certain words in, and other ones not. Yeah, so that is the instructions, uh, which we probably won't read. And here he is. Um, yeah, looks okay. Webbing and things. Um, one, two, three, four sets of hands. Different eyes and things. Different visor, up or down. Hmm, looks okay. Looks a little bit bigger than a lot because the SH figure arts ones usually come in a little smaller, but this one looks quite big. Oh, so it is a. Is there any sellotape on there? Or is it just its own... No, oh, it's its own... Thing that's plugging it in. Oh, there we go. Right, hands have all popped out. And get them back in there. There we go. Right. Lift him out. And will he start? Oh, look at that. He's a stander straight out of the box. Fantastic. So we have... An extreme close up, there we go. Knitted pattern on his cowl is quite nice. There's some nice textures in there. Feels very sturdy. There's a little bit of gloss there on the on the attachments, which is nice because you know some some of the bigger companies. There's also like a grey line along the edge of there, which is nice that they've taken the time to paint that on. Yeah. Hands are reasonably, reasonably painted in your focus that focus. Do it that way. No. There. Reasonably painted. He has articulation. Let's go through that. So really quite a lot forward, quite a lot back. Tilt either way, swivel. So yeah, that is a quite a nice. There's also a ball joint in there as well so it's got a little maneuverability that feels kind of givey but still uh, the arms 
have the usual which is nicely hidden by the the costume there yeah I'm genuinely just trying to gently move that around because you know these things still can be a little bit fragile yeah uh, the body there has swivel not too far only goes that way only goes to there so yep pretty realistic oh quite a lot of forward lean quite a lot of lean back so you are going to get me into some interesting wall crawling poses yeah uh, the leg up and out and that way back that way knees are double not quite a butt kicker but close hmm. knees are quite nice I said that so you are going to be able to you know getting into some nice actiony poses yeah ankles forward there is swivel and pivot on the bottom there as well which is good his toes do move as well so you've got that that's a good thing um now this i'm not sure if this is the mask you can replace the eyes on yes oh it is oh no that's nice they've got a really oh, you can see that a really big peg on them so they're not going to see if i can get because it's it's nicely packed it's you not know, for a ko it's nicely packed because look they're all in a nice little box so you will be able to keep these relatively safe they're not too badly painted either down without spilling them so that will go in like that, so you can have slightly different yeah like that hmm. yeah I'm impressed hands pegs are gently reasonably good let me just pop that back on if I can oh there we go so let's have a look at over there gently Here's the other head with Peter Parker's eyes on it and um, is that where the yes so that's the eye see that eye stalks and goes in there like that so that it's the pop top version are actually quite nicely painted on that, I have to say. I'm reasonably impressed. Mm. So the hands we have, let's have a look. Let's come out of there. And the thumbs, like thumb up ones. Lots of splayed out hands, obviously web shooting hands. Yeah. This selection, I guess that peg is for if you're going to put him on a stand and get out of there without firing it out because it's got a pin in the back so I guess that will attach to some kind of peg he has webs like that if you can see and transparent so a little bit hard to focus on but there we go right so let's find that one. I'm going to swap that eye back because he's looking a little bit confused.com and that plugs back in like that there we go right and I'm going to put that lid back on there because I can see me knocking these on the floor in a minute there we go right so do we get oh yes we've got a hand so it is that side right just give me a sec, I'll do it over here because yep, that came off okay. So I guess you put that in there like that. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be a bit of work, but I'll put the other end on. That went on nice. 
So yeah. Right, let's see. Tilt it back a little bit. What sort of the pose? It's loose. It, it's not loose, but it's maybe the hips are a little bit. I'm not standing him on the best of surfaces sometimes. There we go. Hmm. Pretty action packed. I like it. I mean, it's a simple. It's a simple color and everything. Here we have um, the. I think this is the Far From Home uh, Spider-Man that they did. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand them straight so that we can get an idea of whether this feels very good for a. You go back and watch some. My, my recommendation, if you want to see how bad these things can be, go find and I'll put a link somewhere at the top. Um, go find the Doctor Strange and the Star Lord. Now look, he is bigger than that one. Hmm. So, does that mean then this is the Far From Home Marvel Legends? Yes. So he is a reasonably similar size to the, to the Far From Home Marvel Legends. And this is the, uh, the one from the computer game. So he's a bit short. Yeah, the Marvel Legends have always been bigger than... But I don't know whether that's just because the knockoffs and KOs and things like that. But all in all, I think that is a nice figure. I think it's got... You know, if you want... Mm, it's not expensive. I'll, I'll put a link. I won't put a link to the people that I got it mine from. There is somebody else that I usually buy my figures from. They have one on now. So I'll put a link to theirs on, okay? But yeah, I think this is, I think it's a nice figure. I, it's, yeah, let's have a, another close up. There we go. Like I said, the, the detail there with the little bit of gloss on the, and the lines down the suit are really good. I like it. I think it is a really nice figure and it's going to look good. I'm going to find a shelf. I've decided I'm going to do like put Spider-Man all over the room on different shelves and things. Just just because, you know, he can be on high shelves and looking down being Spider-Man. Yeah. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, obviously look on the in the KO file. Uh, there's loads of stuff like this in there. Um, I have been doing some NECA figures that I've been calling clones for a while. They are definitely real. This is... I was expecting this to be worse, I will be honest with you, because the, some of the SH figure arts KOs can be a little bit wibbly wobbly and stuff like that, but this, this is good. I like this figure. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's got, it's got a character to it. I'm glad I bought it and it will probably actually end up stood with my Marvel Legends because it's the similar size to those. So yeah. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, Please hit that like button, it's a big help to the channel. If you're new to here, then please subscribe. It also helps the channel a great deal. I try and get as many of these kind of things as I can, but it is difficult because, like oh, everything, I can only get them when they release them. Um, and this is the first SH Figure Arts KO they have released in probably two years. They haven't done many. I think the last one I did may have been... Um, Fat four. Fat four. Yeah, not my teeth. Um, from the last uh, Avengers movie, you know, and he's a little bit porky. Um, so yeah, this is, this is, this is cool. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.